Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the 20th video in this series mad about Python and in this video we'll be seeing how you make your own lottery system using the random library in tkintro and python. So let's get started. Alright, so right off the bat you have to use a library known as random which is uh, built into python so you don't have to install anything from pip. So you just go from random import rand int because we need a random integer number for this okay so when you're building a lottery system you will need a python list obviously because uh, there'll be number of people you want to add to the list and then pick a random person from that list so we'll just create the function in the beginning itself so function will be pick and uh, our list will be lst and then you can just open the square brackets and then you can build your list using the double quotes so I have a list ready right here so I'll just paste it here and this list is quite simple uh, yeah so as you can see this list is quite simple it is having p1 p2 p3 and up to p8 these are person 1 up to person 8 so now here you can notice all are unique from number 1 to 8 now keep that thing in mind I'll come back to this part later and uh, let's uh, create a label just to show this is our lottery system so we'll give a poster label yeah you can call it anything so this will be on top of your widget just to tell the user that it's a lottery system so we'll give label you want this inside root and this text you want random winner okay inside double quotes random winner yeah and then we have learned in the previous video how you can use the font to give custom size and fonts to your text so we give Arial black the bold font and let's just give size as 25 okay so your poster label is ready you can just pack this now so poster label dot pack let's just give some padding like this pad x pad y both are same 10 and then we will also need a button when you click the button it will choose a random number so we'll give a winner button winner button which will be of type button inside your root text will be pick your winner and uh, since this is a button give command as pick why the command pick because the function definition is pick and you can also use the font here also so let's give font equals and I want uh, Arial normal yeah no yeah Arial is fine normal Arial with size 30 great so once you have done that you can pack your winner button so pack your winner button and give some padding to this I'll just give pad y as 20 and then you can close this root dot main loop okay so that's it your uh, buttons are ready and your main poster label is ready okay now we'll come to the important part now I want to teach you guys something special here the thing is as you can see these elements inside the list are really unique 1 to 8 are all unique numbers now what if you take a real life example these things to be written on a sheet of paper and you cut those sheets into 8 pieces and uh, the probability of getting p1 will be 1 by 8 obviously now what will happen if I 
write the same thing twice like p1 i will wantedly re repeat multiple times like this p1 now as you can see the p1 now exists one two three four four times now the probability for the uh, p1 of uh, winning will be more than the others so what we'll do in this case so we will use something known as set if you have uh, seen in python lists set is nothing but in python it's a unique list where nothing is repeated so we will be using set to just to disqualify the cheaters <laughs> yeah because p1 has cheated here because there are around four entries for the person p1 so we will catch that uh, thing here okay so let's just create entry sets you can give entry set and entry set will be nothing but your set there's a keyword in python set and that will be your list now what this thing will do is it will take the unique out of the list so it will take p1 only one time it will not repeat like it's here four times now we will need our list back because okay let me just take the indentation okay so there's a problem here because this should be inside the function i'll just give a tab make sure guys this all are packed inside the function otherwise it will show error okay and then let's just create a unique list so unique list and i will bring it back as list which will be nothing but my entry set so entry set brought back to unique list variable as list now we will need a number because we are using a random library which is random integer so we will need the number so i'll give some random like rand equals rand int and rand integer will take from 0 to r number let me just come back to this part r number now the random integer will start from 0 till the number now r number i have not defined anywhere i'll define it here right now so r number will be nothing but the length of the unique list now for the list there's a keyword length function i mean not keyword the length function you can use same way you use in python so length of the unique list and the element uh, indexing is from zero so we know that the last element is not uh, not counted so we will go minus one so length of the list till the last but minus one so that's why the minus one here if you are familiar with the indexing that shouldn't be a problem and uh, random integer will go from zero to r number which is length of the list minus one simple now we will need a winner label to display who has won the lottery so winner label let's just give label you want this inside root and text equals nothing but our unique list inside random because i want to display this thing okay so your text will be nothing but unique list and inside square brackets i want to give rand because my rand will count from zero to r number so rand and then let's just give some fonts here font equals uh, let's just give some other like hell vetica and uh, give value as 30 for the font size yeah 30 uh, yeah it's, this is close so winner label dot pack and give some padding here pad y and i'll give padding as 20 okay so that's uh, your def pick 
Hmm. Let me just summarize my program before I run this. Here you have your list because uh, this is a lottery. Uh, if you need a real life example, you can take uh, like YouTubers do giveaways when they tell you to comment uh, in their uh, comment section and then they choose the people and they choose a random person and that random person wins the prize. So that is a real life example. Same way this is P1 to P8 where the P1 is repeated multiple times. You can imagine P1 has uh, passed comments multiple times in the comment section of the YouTube. So you can uh, take it as that and then you can see your entry set because you're using set. Now what, okay. uh, now what will happen is your set will take only unique variables and store it in and entry set. But to work with the uh, random part, you will need to bring the list back. So to bring the list back, you are giving another variable unique list and using the list to bring that back. So entry set will become list here again, but only the unique elements will be there in that list. Now R number is nothing but the length of the list minus one because of the indexing from zero obviously and then random is nothing but our random function you have imported here and then that is going from random integer zero to the number which is our number and the winner label is nothing but to display the text which is nothing but our random winner which will be of font helvetica and size 30 and down here you have a button to press to choose the winner and this top level poster label you can name this anything is nothing but your top uh, poster just to show that this, this is a lottery game great so we'll just run this program now i hope no errors okay so see here you have given random winner as your uh, yeah random winner as a poster that is in arial black looks really nice and here is pick your winner and now when i click this p5 won the lottery now it's random now if i close this and run it again and as you can see when i click this now p3 has won the winner it is purely random when i click this again p4 p8 so this is a random lottery you can see okay so that was all for this video and I'll see you in the next one.